All right, so what are we looking at here? What we're looking at here, this is the green skin starting area. Basically, I'm playing this little goblin shaman here. He just started out. This is the, these are, this tribe here is known as the Bloody Sons. This guy, Skarzag, this big black orc, he's the head uh, orc here. Basically what we've got here is, if you can see that with the waterfalls and with the uh, barrels down here, yeah. the dwarves are actually assaulting this orc encampment, which you can see kind of the, the after effects here. Basically what they're doing is they're stuffing themselves in large beer barrels, throwing themselves over the waterfalls, and assaulting the beach all on Normandy. So as a, as a, as a, as a, you know, a new greenskin sent to the area, basically what Skarzag wants you to do is you know, go and deal with the vultures. Well, obviously also, I'll take a look around, which you can just see with the way that we've got the environment set up that we want it to be very orc. You know, this is, this is you know, a Games Workshop game. They, they know exactly the way that their orcs look, the way that they speak, you know, the way that things work. Um, we're taking elements from the fantasy, uh, War, uh, Warhammer Fantasy miniatures combat game, whereas if you could actually, if you went and actually bought the latest uh, green skin army book for the miniatures game, yeah. in the back of that book, they tell you how to build that out of styrofoam. Huh. You know, everything that goes in this game is 100% approved by Games Workshop, including dead dwarfs, you know, it, it, yeah. dwarf skulls. Sure. You got a little thing over here with uh, dwarf beards. Well, the dwarfs really, yeah. exactly. Dwarfs really hate it when you take their beards. To show you just some other, uh, some other things we've got, the look and feel. Exactly. This is Ugrog. He's a kind of friendly giant, as far as giants can get friendly for the tribe here. Um, about six, seven months ago, Games Workshop came out with a new model for their giant for Warm of Fantasy. They gave us sketches, drawings, the whole nine yards. This is him. You can actually go out and buy that box, make this guy, even so far as the bit of the sack here with the arm hanging out. But not only that, because, you know, it's got a symbol of Gork and Mork on here, and it's just random bits thrown together. Well, one of the things that we've got as far as, you know, Warhammer, it's, when we say Warhammer is huge and epic, we don't just mean that. We actually have to build it, because that's the way Games Workshop wants it, and that's the way we want it as well. So we actually will have buildings like this in the world, as you can tell here, that are just massive. You know, the idea is the Greenskins built this so tall because they want the dwarfs to see it. One of the biggest questions we have is what are we going to do for the races that are outside the initial six we start with? If they make sense geographically, because remember I was talking about the geographical locations of the three racial pairings we've got, if it makes sense geographically, we will add them in as NPCs. For what you're looking at here is that this is a representation of a vampire count tower. Vampire counts, of course, are one of the other army types, an undead army type you can play in war that are in the Warhammer Fantasy world. Skaven, vampire counts, uh, Bretonians, I think, um, will exist in the world as NPCs. Yeah. Obviously, uh, you know, people always ask, well, what about adding them in later? It's an MMO. We'll have expansions. We'll be adding new content in. Sure. You'll be working and fighting down here amongst the green. But if you notice up above the cloud layer, you can kind of see you kind of see some architecture up there. Yeah. Well, you'll be able to work through the actual zone itself to get here normally. Obviously, we'll take a little quick cheat. But up above the cloud layer, the dwarfs have built some of their citadels. And in this case, obviously, you see some, you know, some wow. design of dwarf architecture here. What we've got here, this is Karak Kadrim. This is the keep of the slayers. Wow. This is it. This is the visual representation of the slayer keep itself.